Software navigation should serve users by making it easier for them to access and understand the features within your software. If you've been having difficulty with uh, sprawling software navigation, then this video will help. We'll be sharing five tips to create better software navigation. Hi, I'm Peter from UserActive, where we help SaaS founders create meaningful products users love. If you find these videos helpful, then please like and subscribe and click that bell icon so you get notified whenever we publish a new video. So if you've been having difficulty with your software, then these tips should help. We regularly design software navigation and we often come up against these five same issues. So let's jump into those right now. The first thing that you want to do is to gain a new user's perspective. When you've been working on your product for so long, it's very difficult to see objectively the same kind of point of view that new users have looking at your product for the first time. Because you've lost the ability to see the wood for the trees, it very much helps to get a fresh pair of eyes on your product. So the best way to do this is speak with your ICP on your new users and just get their opinion and their impression and take that on board and that will help you start to think about how to restructure your navigation in the best way to serve newcomers. The next step is to group your features logically. Something that happens over time is that navigation loses its structure and a good thing to do is to just readdress it. Start thinking about how you can group your features logically into either feature sets that make sense together or tasks that correspond to the same kind of activity. Our recommendation for this is to have around five to seven top level menu items in your navigation. Any more than that gets a bit confusing, but you could have less if you have a simple product or a micro SaaS that focuses on one specific task. So after that, the next step is to consider a hierarchy of elements. So what are the features that are most frequently used in your software and what are the most important? If you make a list of that, you can then organize your navigation accordingly. So the first items in your menu should be the most frequently or most important features in your software. The next thing you can do is promote user journeys. So now that you've structured your navigation, you want to just have another look at it and ask yourself, does this promote the user journeys, the most frequently um, conducted tasks in our software? If it doesn't, then you might want to consider about consider adding those into your navigation or creating elements on your screens that make it easy to access those. An example of this might be if you have a CRM, a very common task might be adding contacts to that CRM. So does your navigation make it very easy to access and perform this frequently required task? Okay, so once you've got all of that done, the last thing you want to do is consider feature activation. Now, this is quite important to get users uh, using the features regularly and making them imp an important part of their workflow. So does your navigation promote feature activation? A couple of tips that we usually do to help this is just to create uh, submenus or mega menus with descriptions on, on specific features and highlight them maybe with some graphics or icons to make them stand out. That way it's easy for new users to understand just from your navigation what the features are and it's also easy for your regular users to access them. So there you go, that's how to improve your navigation. If you need help working on product design, then please contact us at useractive.io. And in the meantime, I hope this video has helped you to improve your product, get more users and grow.